Hi, I'm Ross Brown, Vice President of Product Marketing for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And joining me today is Jeff Davis, Chief Commercial Officer for the Oracle Practice at Deloitte. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Ross, it's great to be here. And I really appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. I appreciate the partnership. Let's start with a high level one, which is sort of framing Oracle Cloud and our infrastructure for customers. How is it differentiated in your mind with customers? Uh, from a customer perspective, again, the evolving cloud technology is relatively new to them. Uh, I'm not sure that they really understand the differences between many of the clouds. As we speak to them, we share with them uh, that there are fundamental differences between the clouds. Some are known for innovation. Uh, some are known for uh, their level of maturity as a cloud product. And others are known uh, for their uh, technical uh, ability to deliver high performance. So each one has really uh, a different attribute. Uh, that's the way we see it. Right. So Oracle has a long history with enterprise customers, as does Deloitte, but our history is around apps and database and not necessarily around the public cloud. What's the natural entry point for a business like Deloitte and talking with their customers about bringing the OCI cloud up and engaging effectively to drive uh, the business with them? Well, I think our perspective is that, frankly, Oracle runs better on Oracle, and that usually makes a fine entry point for us. What we find in practice is that the performance is simply better uh, running Oracle workloads. Uh, and I think it's early to tell, but I think they'll find that overall the performance of Oracle product uh, in the cloud OCI uh, as a platform uh, will continue to be a high performance platform for them uh, for a long time. Uh, it's more difficult to say that because the other clouds aren't necessarily focused on uh, leveraging the same capabilities that OCI is when it comes to the context of running Oracle product. Right. Um, if you look at the underpinnings of the technology, what you find is that uh, Oracle has been engineering hardware uh, for a very long time. They've also been engineering really outstanding software for a very long time. When you look at their competitors, their competitors weren't necessarily uh, engineering the hardware and don't have as much experience engineering the hardware as Oracle does, although their software is really what drives their ability to uh, provide a uh, cloud platform. I think that's a, a key thing for us is, you know, there's a, a general sense about enterprise public clouds about how do you m migrate applications and modify applications so that they can work in the cloud. And we've spent a lot of energy on how do we modify the physical infrastructure of the cloud to map to those stateful scale up applications as well as the stateless scale out uh, sort of models that are out there. But you guys are the ones interacting with customers. What are the types of businesses that see benefit from Oracle Cloud in, the, in, in your estimation? Uh, well, you have a large install base today in public and private sector. Uh, and where we see a lot of value is in uh, those clients or customers that have significant workloads. Right. Uh, so high volume, high performance applications. And we also see Oracle, again, Oracle applications running in the cloud. After all, the basis of OCI is the Exa platform. And the Exa platform is a very well engineered, very high performance platform. And so the behavior of the Exa platform behind someone's firewall uh, will largely seem very similar when the applications are migrated to the uh, OCI cloud. You mentioned performance, um, and that's obviously a design goal for us in our bare metal cloud, but performance also it often comes as a trade off to other things like, you know, proprietary systems and, you know, it gets expensive when you build proprietary. Can you talk a little bit about how your experience with the Oracle cloud infrastructure ranks in terms of openness? Um, our perspective is uh, that it's an open platform. Any of the platforms could be open in the context that if you engineer your software uh, the right way, you could run it on any platform. Uh, if you decide to take advantage of some of the innovation of some of Oracle's competitors, the challenge is that it becomes very sticky and difficult to migrate off those platforms. If you look at cloud infrastructure as being a commodity, um, yes, there are differences between them, 
Um, but if you see it as a utility or a commodity, uh, creating a very sticky, uh, uh, sticky relationship with your cloud might not be in your best business advantage in the long run. Uh, it makes it much more difficult to migrate uh, to the optimum platform, whatever that happens to be. And we think Oracle is, is a very strong performer. I appreciate that. Well, the other trade-off between openness and performance is cost. And, and that's one of the areas in cloud economics we focused on. How is that showing up with customers for you? I think um, Oracle is competitively priced. Uh, I think there are factors that determine your final price. Uh, and it depends in many cases what uh, the market can, uh, the individual uh, client can negotiate with any given cloud provider. Uh, in general, we see very good value in Oracle's cloud, especially when it's considered price performance. I appreciate that. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Elevate initiative. Uh, can you expand on this partnership between Oracle and Deloitte? Uh, the partnership was born out of the fact that we were trying to grow our Oracle tech practice uh, very quickly, uh, seeing that there was a tremendous market opportunity. And the underpinnings of that are simply that the market responds very well to the concept of Oracle on Oracle. It intuitively makes sense. And uh, frankly, you know, when they think about the Exa platform and their experience there, uh, and that being replicated in OCI, or being the underpinnings uh, of OCI, then we find that they're very favorable and it's again, a competitive platform. So we saw a great deal of growth opportunity. What we wanted to do is link uh, up directly with Oracle uh, to form a partnership utilizing our strengths and Oracle strengths. But certainly Oracle consulting is close to development. Uh, Oracle has the products and services uh, that the market is demanding. We, on the other hand, have uh, a great deal of experience, uh, having very long-term relationships with clients. Uh, this will be our 175th anniversary being in business. So we have very long-term relationships. Right. We always want to bring the best products and services to our clients. Uh, we saw OCI as a, as a great uh, opportunity for us to bring differentiated value. And we also have investments in products like Adadata and in Awake, Adadata is a migration tool, any data, anywhere. And in Awake is a industry leading refactoring tool. We believe the combination of our intellectual property, our tools and accelerators, and our engineers coupled with uh, the technical uh, capabilities of Oracle Consulting and an outstanding platform made a very compelling value proposition to the market. Market, by the way, has responded very well to it. Yeah, it's good. And obviously, going to market for these customers with a new platform, there's work. You mentioned the tools you're building to support infrastructure, led the transformations and stuff. But are there customers in particular that that's resonating with? Any sectors or industries that you're seeing faster traction with? You know, we're we're seeing both in the public-private sector good traction. Um, where we're seeing uh, where it resonates the most are in big data users or consumers. Uh, places where they had a very strong uh, Oracle database uh, install base, because after all, Oracle was the industry standard for database. Right. So the big data consumers would probably be banks, telcos, uh, high tech organizations, and governmental agencies or entities that are very large manipulators and consumers of data and information. Uh, where we find it resonates very well with them is that we're able to offer them a value proposition of quick time to value in a partnership uh, that uh, is essentially one throat to choke or one owner uh, of their transformation. It's seamless between the two parties for the client. I think that seamlessness is really key. Um, you know, we're coming up on a year of being distanced from each other in the pandemic and you know, trying to go through transformations when you've got uh, economic disruption plus social disruption and other things going on is tough. Are you guys doing anything interesting in sort of structuring deals to make it a little more easier for customers? Uh, our intent is to try to uh, create a compelling value proposition. Uh, we do uh, financially engineer uh, an offering that allows a client to get immediate value at time of signing uh, a contract with Oracle and Deloitte. 
uh, that way, uh, through financial engineering, we're able to offer them immediate savings. But it's not just the savings. It's the fact that we're at the same time uh, providing them significant uh, cost relief. We're also modernizing their platform, reducing the number of vendors that may be involved in their infrastructure. After all, I think we both view infrastructure as a commodity. Uh, Oracle software products differentiate, Deloitte's professional services differentiate, uh, but you really have to look at uh, the underlying infrastructure as uh, a utility. Mm -hmm. We can, what people want is very reliable service at a very low cost. Right. And I believe our offering provides that uh, low cost of service and we modernize their infrastructure so that they have a perpetually lower cost base and frankly, better service. That's great. Well, again, thank you for your partnership. Uh, it's been a long-standing one between Deloitte and Oracle, but the relationship around Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is relatively new, and I appreciate your guys' early interest in leaning in and helping us grow with customers. Uh, any advice for us, or uh, and, and specifically as it relates to working with partners? I think at times we may be seen as uh, not on uh, the same, uh, shall we say, agenda when right. it comes to a customer. Uh, and I think more and more we see Oracle changing their stand towards the SIs and right. we're coming uh, closer and closer in terms of a solid working relationship. Every alliance has its ups and downs, but we've been doing business together for decades. And I can tell you in the time that I've started and led uh, the Oracle practice globally, that at no time have we seen more collaboration, more cooperation, and more of a partner-centric attitude. The result is it's very compelling for us as our partners travel the world uh, and have clients around the world who may not be as close to the capabilities of Oracle, they know that we're seeing tremendous results uh, and we're seeing a lot of success both in our business models around Oracle as well as our customers, most importantly, we're making a very big impact on their business, uh, helping them uh, achieve their business goals through our services and Oracle products. That speaks volumes of our partnership. And we think we have even a greater uh, and brighter horizon ahead of us together. I appreciate that very much. And I, I take the feedback to heart. You know, We're a platform that our partners build a business on. So the more we can turn to a service posture of working to support our partner's business, the more we'll succeed together. Totally Jeff, agree. I appreciate your time very much. Ross, it's uh, great speaking with you, and I wish you and the people of Oracle uh, the best of success. Thanks, Jeff.